What's going on today guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the slightly revised 2021 Chevy Colorado Z71. Now before I begin this video, I want to give a huge thanks to Ericsson Chevrolet in Milan, Illinois for providing the vehicle seen in today's video. If you guys would like to check out their website, the link will be down in the description below. Now for 2021, the Chevy Colorado is realistically very unchanged since its debut in 2015 uh, with this generation truck. Uh, but for 2021, GM decided to update the exterior just a little bit to give it a little bit of a modern facelift and fit in better within Chevy's lineup with the new Silverado. Now one thing I want to mention before I begin this video is I did a full tour on a 2020 Chevy Colorado if you guys would like to check out the pre-facelift version of this truck. Now that truck was actually equipped identically to this truck that you see in front of you minus this one has the extra cost red paint color. So if you guys would like to compare the 2021 and the 2020 mile year I'll have a card in the corner of the screen for you guys to check out that video. So like I mentioned in the intro of this video, the 2021 is merely a facelift for the Colorado and the vast majority of the changes that were made were done on the exterior of the vehicle. So in front of us, we have a 2021 Chevy Colorado Z71 Shortbacks Crew Cab. This one is finished in one of the brand new colors for 2021 and that is cherry red tint coat. This color is a very great color. I think it's honestly one of the best reds GM has ever put out on a vehicle. Uh, now the lighting is not the best right now, but the uh, metallic flake and the overall depth of the paint is very good. And it's honestly way better than the Cajun red tint coat, which is no longer available on the 2021. Uh, but starting up front here, GM also changed that all Z71 trucks are going to have a front black Chevy logo. And that is surrounded by the brand new grill design and front bumper design for the 2021 model year. As you can see, it adds a ton of black gloss plastic around the bottom. We do also have some gray trim along the bottom on the Z71 trucks, as well as the gray center portion of the grill. These will be either black or chrome on uh, LTs or other trim levels of the truck, depending on which packages you have um, equipped on the trucks. But of course you do have your projector halogen headlights with reflector high beams. Those are unchanged from previous model years. And on Z71 trucks, you do have the reflector fog lights down below. Now one other big change on the exterior of the trucks on the Z71 in particular is these new 17 inch design alloy wheels. These are a super nice finish. I like the uh, kind of metallic gray insert with the machined outside. It definitely looks really nice. Uh, these are wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler tires, the same size as last year. These are 225, 65, 17 inch Goodyear Wrangler tires, of course, with the Kevlar in them as well. A good solid all-terrain tire for the Z71 trucks, in my opinion. We do have slightly revised Colorado font on the side of the truck, as well as gloss black mirror caps and door handles. I do not believe that was the case on the 2020 mile year trucks. So that also might be a new change. Now coming back to the bed, we do have a new Z71 off-road sticker. I think that looks great, much better than the uh, prior generation. The red outline is not kind of the best on the red paint, but on uh, other colored trucks, it'd definitely be very sharp. Now coming to the back of the truck, we do have the same old uh, generic incandescent taillights. I really wish GM would have put some LED taillights on this truck. Uh, even on the upper trims only would have been nice because uh, these would look very good in an LED just like the Silverado. Uh, but coming back to the tailgate, we have another major change on the exterior and that is the Chevrolet embossment or stamping in the tailgate to match the new generation Silverado. So again, this is another change that they made just to bring it in line design-wise with the newer Silverado. Uh, I think it looks very good. The old truck had a Chevy badge right in the center here, just below the handle. Uh, but I think the uh, Chevrolet stamping looks a lot better. Now, of course, we do have your step in the rear bumper, as well as the rear parking sensors standard on the Z71 trucks. This one is equipped with the trailering package. So you have your tow hitch down below there. Of 
We do have your sliding rear window, no bed liner on this particular truck. We do have your nice handles here on the side as well for entering and exiting the bed. Now take a look at the window sticker on this truck. Like I mentioned, this is a 2021 Colorado four-wheel drive Z71 crew cab. This is the cherry red tint coat, as mentioned before, with the 3.6 liter V6 with the jet black slash gray leatherette interior and of course your eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, like I mentioned earlier in this video, this is the identically equipped truck uh, compared to the 2020 video I did minus the cherry red Tinko extra cross color So you guys should be able to do a direct comparison to that video uh, And the window sticker on that particular vehicle to see any pricing changes between the two model years um, I believe they are very close, but I think there is a slight difference in pricing between the two model years so uh, you guys can see all the standard equipment and everything here on the Z71. But if you guys have any questions on any equipment on this truck or any of the other trucks, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. Now, like I mentioned, the changes for the 2021 model year pertain mainly to the exterior, so you will not find really any interior changes besides from the infotainment system. Uh, but coming to the door panel, we do have your hard touch plastic as usual your slightly padded armrest here on the door panel, your power windows, mirrors, and locks with your chrome door handle pull. We do have a lot of storage, and I always like that about the Colorado. Um, they're kind of small cubbies, but they are useful nonetheless with a bottle holder in each door. And this is the partial leatherette and cloth interior. You do have your power driver seat. I believe this is a six-way with the manual uh, recline now let's go ahead and start the Colorado now of course this is the same gauge cluster uh, I believe since launch of the Colorado so nothing new here but of course you do have your multi-function display there in the middle. You do have your leather wrapped steering wheel, which is very nice. It is heated on some particular trims. Uh, that is standard on the Z71 and optional on the LT. To the left of the steering wheel, we do have your automatic headlight control, your four wheel drive control, as well as your dash illumination control. And to the right of the steering wheel, of course, we have your 8-inch HD infotainment system here. This was a addition, I believe, in the 2018 or 2019 on the Colorado. But it, it definitely gave it a new look, and it uses the uh, latest infotainment 3 Plus from GM. Super nice, quick to respond, no real complaints about it. Um, of course, you can see your rear view camera there as well through this infotainment system. Overall, just a nice, simple to use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything like that. Built in Wi Fi hotspot with some of GM's apps available. I do like the fact you still have your hard touch buttons down below with two knobs for controlling it. Makes it very simple to use, everything like that. Down below that, we do have your single zone automatic climb control, again, with all your hard touch buttons. Below that, we do have all your Buttons controlling the parking sensors, we do have your hill descent control, uh, bed lighting, hazards, traction control, and your trailering uh, mode there. Front heated seats on is standard on the Z71, optional on the LT. We do have two regular USB-A ports down below and a 12 volt outlet. Um, I'm a little surprised not to see USB Type-C in the Colorado, uh, given it's pretty much available, I think, in every other Chevy product. So. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate, but we do have some storage down there. Of course, we do have your 8-speed automatic transmission with the manual selectability on the side. Two cup holders, nice and big, rubberized insert with some nice uh, patterned plastic trim around the doors and on the center console here. Now, one thing I like to complain about on the Colorado and some of GM's vehicles in particular is the fact that uh, some of the wireless charging pads are ridiculously small in their vehicles. So here is a LG V40. So it's one of uh, LG's bigger uh, flagship phones. This does not even fit with or without a case 
Um, so if you guys have a larger phone or just one with a big case on it, you will not get it to fit in the Colorado's wireless charger. Um, I really wish GM would have addressed that by now, given that this Colorado has had that feature for many years now. But we do have your leather stitched armrest here with a nice deep cubby. Always like that about this. Not adjustable, it's just a fixed armrest, but it's in a good spot overall. Uh, one other addition for 2021 is the Z71 has the standard auto dimming rear view mirror anyway, but GM has made the auto dimming uh, rear view mirror standard on LT and above trim level. So every LT will have the uh, auto dimming rear view mirror as well now. Up here we do have your interior illumination controls as well as a nice sunglasses holder which is padded. Illuminated visors. And of course your microphones for the voice commands. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the front seat. Now take a look at the back seat here. Of course this is the larger crew cab truck. But materials are gonna follow through for the most part with your hard touch up top. Slightly padded armrest down here with your power window control. Tons of storage once again with a bottle holder. One thing I do like is these headrests fold via the button on the side. Allows you to clean or to just access whatever you may need in the back much easier. There is a small amount of storage here in the back for tall and skinny things, but uh, you don't want it going any higher than this latch here because obviously the seat needs to latch. Of course you do have your sliding rear window here. No power or anything like that. Now in the back seat we do have two more USB-A ports as well as a 12 volt outlet on this Colorado and a little storage cubby down there. Legroom is very good in the Crew Cab Colorados. Uh, the seat is pretty far back, uh, but you do have one mat pocket on the back of the passenger seat. And again, you also do have an armrest with two cup holders integrated in them. Very good size cup holders, very usable. So that's always nice to have. And of course your illumination here in the back as well. Now coming back to the tailgate, of course you do have your pull handle with the rear view camera integrated into it. You do have your soft open, standard on LT and above trucks, but optional on work trucks. Your bed has four tie down hooks, one in each corner. I think that'll definitely change with the next generation considering the Silverado has three on each corner. So uh, more hooks the better in my opinion, but uh, definitely a nice usable bed, everything like that. Of course you do have your third brake light and the bed lighting up top. Very easy closed tailgate as well. So one last thing to cover is under the hood here. We do have struts on the hood so it self opens, but we do have the same 3.6 liter direct injected V6 pushing out 308 horsepower and 276 pound feet of torque. Uh, that is definitely competitive for a naturally aspirated V6 in the midsize truck segment. Uh, again, this is paired to the 8-speed automatic transmission. But yeah, a very solid powertrain in the Colorados from what I hear, especially with the engine. But the 2.8 liter diesel is available on, I believe, uh, the LT uh, Z71 and uh, as well as the ZR1, of course. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this walk around tour of the 2021 Chevy Colorado Z71. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button down below. It definitely helps me out. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the slightly revised 2021 Chevy Colorado. I think I know the popular consensus is that this truck needs to be all new redesigned, but uh, let me know what you guys think of the Colorado down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.